learned about how bad these chemicals were, and I thought, well, we're not that far from things that routinely made those chemicals and contaminants, so might as well look. Nathan Volpe took it upon himself to test his tap water for PFAS, toxic man-made chemicals not routinely tested by drinking water systems. His discovery prompted an investigation by state regulators and a change in how water is treated in his community. What did you actually have to do in order to, uh, to test your water? <laughs> so a lot of research first, because I thought I could test on my own. And there are kits you can use, but from what I read, they don't like untrained people doing it. It's very easy to contaminate your sample, so you get a false positive or a false negative. So I at first contacted labs that were further out. They weren't willing to do the travel, but they recommended ALS lab in Lancaster. So that's who I ended up contacting. Uh, now, that still took them, I want to say about a month, to even come out here and get a sample. And it's not that they were dragging their feet or anything, but their Lancaster's not the closest place, and they have a lot they have to do to get this sample. So, But we did eventually have a detect come out here. He gathered a sample of the water. He took it back to the lab. The test report came back, and we had... I think about 180 parts per trillion when it came to combined PFOS and PFOA. We had some of the sister chemicals too with longer, harder to remember acronyms, uh, but they were in much lower levels. The test itself I think was $350 and then it was another $100 to have the tech come out and collect the sample for me. So initially I reached out to federal EPA, state EPA. On the state side, they spoke to me for a little bit about it. They asked for my permission to forward my result to the water company. I said, absolutely, go ahead. And then I got contacted by them again later to ask if I would mind if the water company came out and did another sample at my house. I said, absolutely, whenever you want, come on down. Um, and the water company initially indicated they would like to, and then I never heard from them again. They said there was some meeting in early April that they wouldn't do anything until after that meeting, despite the fact that I have an infant and a toddler and I know my water's contaminated. You know, my test was back in March. Uh, so I ended up moving to get my own filter installed. I told them I couldn't wait anymore, but they never did come out and get a sample from here. The last interaction I had was the water company sent me an email saying, here's a notice we're going to be putting out, here's a news article with what we're going to do. And they did put their own filters up, but they didn't test here again at least, as far as I know.